Well, here's my trusty 1995 Toyota Tacoma. He's a workhorse. In fact, check this out. See that? 232,000 miles and still running strong. Well, I'll show you today's project. Now we can see this underneath. My exhaust is rotten. Big hole right behind the muffler. It's almost completely rusted through. So, gonna be replacing that today. There's a new one. It's muffler. Exhaust pipe on the end. Got a deal on this on the internet. 115 bucks. Can't beat that. Uh, first chore, I'm going to get it up in the air. I'm going to put the front end up on ramps. Okay, the truck's pretty high, four-wheel drive truck, 3.4 liter. But uh, I want a little more headroom. Under the back side of the truck now, here's the other side of the muffler where it's broken. There, tailpipe. Look toward the front. There's my O2 sensor. And there's the connection to the cat. Let me try and remove it from here. In here. Hopefully this thing's not too badly rusted. We'll be able to get it apart. I just disconnected the connector on the on the O2 sensor. We'll see if I can get the O2 sensor off of the pipe after we get the whole exhaust off. I'm gonna go right after the flange now. Not on here. Pretty rusty. <clears throat> Ooh, it's tight. It's tight. I'm going to come back with a longer wrench. So I went up to a half inch socket and a breaker bar. And I got something a little longer to apply from leverage. There it goes. Nut.
All right. I'm going to separate the pipe from the cat. Yep. That's loose. And the little gasket's just gone. And the next thing to do is pull off these rubber things. You got the other side of the exhaust supported by a jack stand. It's not going to fall on my head. Alright, so we got the front part off. The back pipe is just hanging on the two hangers here. This rubber hanger here and the one way up there. So you can see that. Right there. Top there, right there. So, pull those rubber mounts off. Out with the old, in with the new. First thing we need to do is transfer some of the hardware. Look at that, and it's just completely gone. Time for change. So the rubber mounts need to transfer, and the O2 sensor needs to transfer. The nuts on this O2 sensor are gone. Them off. I'm just scrape away the remaining rust. Transplant this to the new one, but I do need a new gasket. You think? A new one. Can you see that? <laughs> new one didn't come with a gasket, so I'm gonna have to go buy a gasket and some nuts for that matter. So I got all my parts for reassembling the exhaust system. I'm going to reuse the old oxygen sensor. I'm going to go into the new flange here. I had to buy a new gasket. 
the other one was just destroyed and two nuts obviously to go on the, on the bolts there on the pipe flange side I bought this bracket this, uh, this provides the hanger between the end of the pipe and the end of the catalytic converter this actually goes on the back side of the catalytic converter flange so that uh, these tangs will line up here's the, uh, the major main gasket that goes here on the flange and bolts nuts to go through the flange and the rubber hanger the other one's still on the truck and here's this one for this side and uh, all right let's get started start with the o2 sensor it's easier to get to while it's here on the ground I'm gonna go ahead and put some some anti-seize compound on these these nuts and the threads just in case I ever have to take it off again. It won't be rusted together beyond belief. Here's the bracket, the hanger. It's going to fit back here behind the flange like that. And uh, the hangers like that. All right, I think I'm going to take the pipe, take the tailpipe first, and get that hung. Then I'll be able to raise up the flange end and connect that to the catalytic converter. So I'm going to feed the whole assembly from the center of the truck toward the back. I realized I had to drop the tire just to make room for the end pipe to come through over the axle. Now I got the rear rubber mount on. Before I can do the intermediate one, right there, I'm gonna I'll just put the front of the pipe on a jack stand just to kind of take the pressure off.
right, now I'm gonna try and fight to get these rubber mounts on. There's one right, right there. The other one goes on that little pin right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the flange of the pipe to the catalytic converter. I've got this gasket. These bolts have anti-seize compound already applied. You go through the pipe flange, the flange on the catalytic converter, and the bracket. Alright, alright, that's all done. Now I can hook the uh, plug the O2 sensor back in. Connect it. Right there. Done. Last thing is it's still got that one rubber mount to get on the back of the muffler. Uh, it's a tough one. The one on the right did okay. There's the one on the right, that one's on. That one's a tough one. All right, let's see what it sounds like.
Job done. Off to the scrap metal. Thanks for watching.